Now, you said that you learned some of the older ballads when you were coming up from, was it, it had been your uncle? Mm-hmm. Uncle John Lambert on my mother's side. What were some of those old ballads that he taught you? Well, uh, I ain't going to work tomorrow. I think that was one. And uh, oh, I wish I could remember them. I'm sorry. But time has erased so many things. I just can't recall the, the songs that Uncle John used to sing. He went to New York with us the second time that we went and auditioned, but I don't believe he did any recording. He might have made one record, I'm not sure. Would that have been John Powers? No, uh, Lambert, John my Lambert. mother's name. Mm -hmm. Why did uh, why did the uh, Fiddling Powers family break up in the late 20s? Well, my daddy remarried. He was about 52 or 3, maybe somewhere along there. And he remarried a month before my older sister and I had a double wedding. And that was the end of the, the band. Uh, the sister next to me had married, oh, in 25. And uh, we got together and recorded for OK after she married. And then uh, <clears throat> when Daddy married, my older sister and I had a double wedding, and we just drifted apart, you see. And my brother joined the service. He was in Hawaiian Islands for 12 years, went from there to the Philippines, and he was in the Bataan Death March and died in Japanese prison camp. So that was... But we, we sort of picked up our music in just the last few years to make these appearances that I showed you about in Lewisburg concert and the Smokies and... Uh, now they, they taped those um, uh, performers in the Smokies. They have some of our music on there. Hold your horses, gonna 